I am grateful for every one of them. <laughs> like, if if it wasn't for them experiences, I wouldn't, you know, know what I what I know right now. I wouldn't even be the person I am. You know what I'm saying? And I, I it just it just taught me how to be. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Sincere. You watching the Jam interview? What's your story? Basically, uh, I formed a team in 2014 called Ill Remedy. It's just standing for um, brotherhood and solidifying, being positive, and you know, helping others how they helped you at your hardships, and just being a stand-up person, being a leader, um, being somebody you could, being the person that you would want to look up to as a youngin. Um, I always try to express that to the people I'm around. I've been the muscle basically behind it, uh, putting out projects within probably since 2014, probably a little earlier than that. Why Why all those uh, those values? I feel like that's everyday life, the way you treat people and talk to people. Um, that really stands for something to me. You know what I'm saying? That you know gives me an explanation of what type of personality you have. Leadership, um, I feel like due to a lot of things that's going on right now, we kind of need it. It's everyday life. It's not even just with music for real to me. So I don't know. I just I just stick with it on a day to day basis, honestly. Yeah. I mean they all it sounds like they all come from like a personal mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would definitely say uh, uh I would definitely say off of experiences though. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely say off of life experiences for sure. For sure. You you just thought of something that made you like Yeah, man, I <laughs> like, mean I mean, like for prime example now, like um, I have I'm in a position to where, you know, I kind of started off with certain individuals when we, you know, started this ill remedy thing. And then it's kind of like to the point where now it's just mainly just me at this point. You notice I'm clearly the only person here. You know what I'm saying? But it folk, like I said, it, it all boils down back to, you know, consistency and being a muscle and being the example and being a leader. So, you know, you got to take punches here and there by yourself, you know, to get where you need to be at. And I'm all for that. Right. Yeah. I'm all for that. So, yeah. Yeah. And obviously it's just, we kind of have like the same kind of thing, mm -hmm. at least not sim similar situation, like parallel situations yeah, to where like, yeah, it's yeah. just one man wrecking crew. Mm -hmm. yeah, obviously it's just me. So, yeah, yeah. so it's kind of <laughs> like, you have to take, the initiative for yourself, especially if you want to like mm -hmm. better yourself or even like reach the goals that you want to reach. So exactly, exactly. It's all about pushing yourself, man. And not too people is fond of doing it. You know what I'm saying? They can talk it, but mm -hmm. when they come down to actually doing it, right. it, it it involves some serious work. It involves sleepless nights. It involves you know tears. It involves bloodshed. It, it involves a lot. So I mean, everybody not built for it, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 cool with that. I I understand it. it I came to an understanding with it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Like I can't. You can bring them to the water, but you know, you can't make them drink. So right. Do you find yourself like often going through the motions? And like, how do you get out of that mindset? Oh yeah. Oh man, like <sighs> the motions. Um. All hell to God, man. All, all, all praises to God, because I, I promise you, if if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even be here having this interview with you right now. Um, I just been focused on staying like really strong minded mm -hmm. and level headed. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And thinking everything strategically versus just, you know, working off of emotion, because that has gotten me in so many dark spaces. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Versus thinking strategic and actually having a plan. And falling through with that plan because I, I made sure everything, you know, worked. You know, us trying to become upcoming bosses, we're going to go through the motions, you know what I'm saying? That's that's part of the game. So I just, like I said, I just take the plunges, you know what I'm saying? And right. <laughs> just keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you asked me that because I got a project coming out called Year of the Eight. And I'm supposed to be, I'm not going to really give out too much information, but I want to drop it in June. Um, Year of the Ape has a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? The title itself, Year of the Ape, you know what I'm saying? It it symbolizes uh, leadership. It symbolizes brotherhood. It symbolizes uh, companionship. Not even just with, you know, your significant other, with your mom or, you know what 
you know, your brother or your cousins or your, your father or anybody, but um, it's just it's just all about stepping up, you know what I'm saying, while you're going through those, those, those motions. So I feel like this project is more than well needed because I feel like I'm not the only person who's going through the motions right now. Going back to, like, you are talking about, like, going into dark spaces, like, mm. describe to me, like, what that means and, like, how, uh, how, how you pulled yourself out of that or you, have you had somebody help you get out of those spaces? Oh yeah, I've I've had uh I've had people help me in in my darkest space, you know what I'm saying? It's my thing is it's I, what I pay attention to, let me let me say this right. What I pay attention to is how long that person stayed in that corner with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you came and see where I'm at, but is you going to stay with me or and help me get out of this or you just going to see where I'm at and go back to to the light where you at? You know what I'm saying? And, I've had those situations, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm going to get myself out of it regardless. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Like, it might not happen overnight. It's going to happen, though. You know what I'm saying? That's that's always been me. I always find my way out of everything. Who, who do you care about most? Who? Yeah. Um, My kids. Okay. Um, I have a two-year-old son, and I have a one-year-old daughter. Um, Man, uh... I can honestly say I've learned a lot being a father um, as far as being patient and um, being understanding to other people's emotions. You know what I'm saying? You can't be careless and heartless. Realizing that they really depend on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is nobody. I mean, they have a mom, of course, but, you know, I'm dad. I have to, you know, be that provider. So, uh, yeah, I would say them two, man. Um, they have been giving me sanity. You know what I'm saying? To keep pushing to what I'm trying to do, honestly. Yeah. Describe your experience living on Chesapeake Drive. Man. Boy. Uh, it was a lot of first time over there. You know what I'm saying? First time I seen somebody get murdered, like, in front of me. Um, me walking home back and forth to school at the age of six and seven. You know what I'm saying? Learning the routes on my own across the street. You know what I'm saying? And, learning betrayal like be cool with one friend and the other friend is hanging with somebody you don't like you know what i'm saying and you're going through the motions of that or getting suspended from school 50 million times because you ain't got it all the way up there and your mom got to walk to the school to come get you and shit in the blizzard cold like i am grateful for every one of them because <laughs> like if if it wasn't for them experiences i wouldn't you know know what i what i know right now i wouldn't even be the person i am you know what i'm saying and i i it just it just taught me how to be very alert, you know what I'm saying, and not to expect too much from people. Do mm -hmm. you feel like um, you have mm -hmm. like something like super valuable that you can share if you had to, you know, go back in time and speak to your younger self? Life is not a, ra a race; it's a marathon. So, quit paying attention to what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. That was always my problem. I see somebody else with new sneakers; I gotta have it. I was always doing that. Be silent more. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was doing too much talking because I felt like I knew it all because of what I was seeing. But I had so much more to learn. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like I feel like that's something else I could have told myself to be a little bit more quiet and um, observant, you know what I'm saying, to what's going on around me. Be a little bit more caring. Because I was very careless around that time because of what I was seeing and what was going on with my, my parents and my family at the time. So um, I would say that. What's one thing you would change about society? My generation right now. I feel like we are so lost. <laughs> like, I feel like, you know, like, I get it, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, and it's no disrespect to the new wave. Like, I get it. You know, every, every is new millennium, everything is going to turn new, but everything that's new ain't good for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just don't think people be understanding that and grasping that, like. Our society, our youth, president, shit, senators, some of these senators, is, they lost, man. Like, they don't know what to do. And I feel like the world is corrupted. I say more so peace within our own color. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even talking about whites and Hispanics. I'm talking about us. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's really where the murders is happening at right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Is it because of, like, the uncertainty that you see? of the future or is it just like it's the uncertainty the behavior for sure that's the that's that's the 
best word I could I, I could think of right now that you could have said. Uh, the uncertainty, just not knowing. You know what I'm saying? Just you just going with the flow because of what you see around you. And that was me, product of my environment at the time. Right. So I understand it, but it's like we gotta, you know, we gotta switch it up just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I honestly say uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty though, honestly. Is we lost right now. All right. We lost. All right, Cyril. Thank you for uh coming in. You got um I guess where can people find you online? You can look me up online, man. Instagram, uh Sin or S Boogie. Um Facebook is uh Sin Wayne, um Snapchat Sin Wayne, um Twitter Sin Wayne, all of that. Everything is Sin Wayne. Um uh, if you can't find it up. Uh, you can also type in Sincere S Boogie as well. Just put a dot between the S and the Boogie. My face should pop up. And um, y'all look out, man, for that year of the eight. I'm calling it now. I will say it's going to be project of the year. Uh, just off the strength of the content and the type of product that I'm putting out. And um, yeah, man, it's just a different feel. So y'all just be on the lookout for that, man. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Y'all keep jamming.